right guys, this pedal is Moore Audio Cab X2. Cab X2 is a guitar cabinet simulator and IR loader. You can store 11 different cab models, stereo in and stereo out. Headphone jack can be useful for the silent practice. And there is a USB-C port for the editor software. Okay, before we dive into the sound, let's quickly check the signal chain first. So my guitar goes into the pedal board. From the pedal board, it goes to input of the amp. From the amp, it goes to the reactive load. From the reactive load, the output of unfiltered output, it goes to the pedal, cap X2. From the output one, it goes to the interface. At the moment, the pedal is bypassed. Too fizzy, basically. Usually the unfiltered, raw, overdriven amp sound quite unusable. Therefore, we need a dedicated cap sim or speaker to make the tone more usable. Okay, you can browse the cap models stored in the memory. You can browse the preset by holding both pedal at the same time. This high cut knob controls the high frequency. The low cut controls the bass frequency. The low cut and high cut knobs are very useful for the drive tones in particular and it would be great for quick adjustment in live situation. Okay, let's go stereo now. You can load different cap model each side. For example, place Marshall at left and Mesa at right. <laughs> If you are listening with headphones, you can hear the difference between left and right more clearly. So blue means cap 1 and red means cap 2. For example, if the blue LED is on, you can tweak only cap 1. If you switch it to red, then now you are tweaking cap 2. The latency knob can be useful when you emulate the doubler effects. For example, <laughs> So let's check out the editor software real quick. So you can change the cap type each side. For example, A15 at the right hand side and maybe 59 basement at the left, left hand side. <laughs> And you can also load your own impulse response. And the interface is quite self-explanatory. It is quite intuitive in my opinion. Okay, so do you play bass? You can load bass cap sims as well. I plug straight into the pedal. There you have it. I've been demoing this pedal for a week and I liked it. Compact size, 
build quality is solid, high cut and low cut knob is really useful, and great to have stereo output. The editor software is intuitive. If you need a compact capsim solution under $200, I would definitely recommend this pedal to you. There you have it. I've been fun too. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.